One day the fine Scotsman was sitting at Natford Station by himself when Bertie the Bus pulled up. Well, hello there, Bus, said the flying Scotsman. What brings you here? I'm waiting for Thomas to come. I have some passengers I have to drop off for his train. Hey, aren't you that engine that just had a race not that long ago? Yeah, but uh, th that's under a different regime. It's best we don't talk about or do races nowadays. I don't know if you heard, but once upon a time, I had a race with Thomas, and he says he won. I, I still believe I won. We've been trying to have a race again for years, but we just never have. It's probably best that way. Races only cause confusion and delay. Before Bertie had a chance to respond, Thomas pulled up next to the flying Scotsman. Oh good, Bertie's here. All right, passengers, into Annie and Clarabelle you go. Besides, continued Bertie, Thomas is too scared to challenge me again. Too scared to challenge you? Oh, Bertie, don't tell me you're talking about another race. Oh, he is, said the flying Scotsman. He's been asking me about the race I had not that long ago. I think you might want some advice. Advice? called an engine. Advice from the flying Scotsman? Huh. <laughs> Please. You can't pick a worse engine for advice about a race. Well, Spencer, said Bertie, if I do recall... I'm pretty sure the flying Scotsman beat you in that race. That's what he tries to tell everyone. Truth is, if the flying Scotsman and I were to have another race, I'd cream him, no doubt about it. Well, as much as I would love to have another race, it's best we don't race on the island anymore. Yeah, Bertie, said Thomas. It's best we don't have any more races. Yeah, Bertie, it's best you don't have another race. You talk about me losing a race to one of the fastest engines in the world? Well, you lost a race to Thomas. How embarrassing that must be. Oh, please, Spencer. Gordon could beat you in a race. Did someone say my name? Said Gordon as he pulled in with the express. Well, you couldn't have come at a better time if I do say so myself, said the flying Scotsman. I'm always on time with my express. I wouldn't let an engine who forgot to take his train off my line slow me down. You might not have let that train slow you down, but you're the last one here at Namfort. I don't think it would be a race to get to Namfort. Even if it was, trust me, Spencer, I would beat you. Well, you couldn't beat me here today, now could you, Gordon? Enough, enough. Let's get to the race that actually matters. My race with Thomas. Now, let's get this race started. Bertie, I already said we're not going to race. I have things I need to do today. Besides, I don't need to beat you twice. Beat you twice? Ooh, Thomas, it sounds like you're a little confident, aren't you? All I know is this, said Spencer. We need a race today. I guess I already had mine, so Thomas, Bertie, must be your turn. Well, before we start this race, we should set some ground rules. Since our last race involved two engines... This one's going to be different. Since we have one who's on the road and one who's on the rails, we'll just make it instead of a time trial, we'll make it whoever gets to, uh, Berendum Docks. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Berendum Docks. Whoever gets to Berendum Docks first wins. We'll send the flying Scotsman out early to make sure he sees who the winner is, and Spencer and I will stop by later. Sounds good, agreed Thomas and Bertie. Yes, said Spencer. Even though I have to be stuck with Gordon, we'll make sure that nothing goes wrong with this race. Well, I better get going to Brendam Docks. I'll meet you all there. And the flying Scotsman left Natford Station. It would be nice if I wouldn't have to take Annie and Clarabelle, since Bertie's not taking any passengers. Could we find an engine to take Annie and Clarabelle for me? If we must. Uh, we'll get Percy to come. I think he's supposed to stop by Natford in a little bit. Well, I guess with that being said... Let's start this race. Yes, indeed, said Gordon. Are you two ready? All right, shouted Gordon. On your marks, get set, go. And Thomas and Bertie quickly left Napford Station. Well, Spencer, said Gordon, who's your money on? Well, I do like redemption stories, and if I were to race a flying Scotsman again, that's definitely what my story would be. But I think Bertie's got this race under his wheels. Well, as I told that little blue engine years ago, 
Together we stand, united we fall. There's no way I can't pick Thomas in this race. Guess one of us will be right. Too bad for you, it's me. The race between the two quickly began. They both passed Henry's tunnel. The two quickly made their way to the airfield. While Thomas continued on his path, Bertie took a shortcut across the airfield. Meanwhile at the docks, the flying Scotsman was waiting for Bertie and Thomas to arrive when Gordon and Spencer pulled up next to him. I've got Bertie. Gordon here has Thomas. What's your choice? I just want to see a good race. They're both winners in my book. Oh, come on, Scotsman. That's such a lame response. You have to have someone you're at least favoriting. I like them both. It's really hard for me to decide one over the other. Eh, whatever. Their race should almost be done by now. Ugh, any minute. And Spencer was right, because Bertie the bus soon pulled in first. Thomas soon pulled in after Bertie. See, Gordon, I got it right. But no surprise, I'm always right. That's not fair, said Thomas. Bertie took a shortcut. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Thomas, but there were no rules stating that one of you couldn't take a shortcut. So with that being said, Bertie won the race. Guess this means I win. Better luck next time, Thomas. And without Thomas saying a word, Bertie left the docks. Better luck next time to you too, Gordon. Ah, <sighs> guess this means I win. Again. Oh, please, said Gordon. This is just one race. We have plenty more we can bet on. At least I lost to a good friend. Oh, well, better luck next time. I guess I'll have to find a shortcut for me. That's the spirit, Thomas. I'm sure there's going to be more races, so... Tell me whenever that one is. And the flying Scotsman soon left the docks. I'm leaving, too. Thanks for your support, Gordon. And thanks for watching, Spencer. And Thomas soon left the docks. Better go, too. Spencer and Gordon said together, and they departed the docks at the same time and crashed in together. Oh, great. The one time you're as fast as me. The one time? Oh, please. I... And the two continued to bicker until help eventually arrived.